everybody, it's Emmy, and I'm back today with a recipe. Uh, today I want to share with you um, one of my favorite recipes for soup. Um, in fact, I'd call it my standby soup. I don't, I love to cook. I cook every day, um, but I don't make a lot of soups. So, but this soup recipe that I want to share with you is my favorite standby go-to soup. Um, it's my easy butternut squash soup. So, um, yeah, stick around and see how to make it. It only, I think, has five ingredients. Let's go to the kitchen and see how it's done. Using a sharp knife, cut your butternut squash in half lengthwise. Then take a spoon and scoop out the seeds. Then place the halves on a baking tray, either on foil, parchment paper, or in this case, a silicone mat. While the squash is baking, chop your onions. Next, fry your bacon. and drain them onto some paper towel. Reserve some of the bacon fat to fry your onions. When the onions are translucent, add your herbs. Your squash is ready when you can easily pierce it with a fork. When the squash is cool, use a spoon to scoop out the pulp and add it to the onions. I was making baby food, so my squash is pureed, but no need to do it for yourself. Next, add water or chicken broth to thin the soup to your liking. Crumble in your bacon and boil for about five minutes. You can serve it as is, or you can do what I'm doing here and puree it for a smoother consistency. Finally, taste for salt and pepper, and you're done. Okay, so we're back. We're back with the finished soup, and here it is. I like to top it with a little bit of freshly ground pepper. Um, I feel that it adds a little freshness, a little zest. Um, and I've got some a toasted baguette with a little bit of butter. Um, I think that's the perfect combination, some soup with bread. So let's let's eat. That's what itadakimasu means, by the way. It means let's eat or um, I shall receive this food. Okay, so let's just try the soup by itself. So I like it kind of thick. Um, feel free to adjust the consistency to however you would like it. Um, I like it on the thicker side, so here we go. Mmm. Delicious. Warm and hearty. The butternut squash has its own natural kind of sweetness, um, which really goes well, I think, with the bacon and, and the thyme. And feel free, you can also make this vegetarian. You don't need to put bacon. Um, I would suggest using a vegetable stock instead. So what I usually do for our family is sometimes I'll freeze half of it and then take it down for a day when I don't feel like cooking. Mmm. Really good with bread. This is a really great brunch item and a really great kind of light dinner item. Paired with a salad and um, some bread, you're good to go. Mm. So, if you guys make this, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I would love to hear your adjustments and your permutations if you make changes. Love to hear it. Love hearing from you guys. And um, yeah, thanks you guys for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and you'll never miss a video. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!